So we're here at CES 2010 with Freescale, where you, sh where you actually powering basically most of the e-ink, uh, e-book readers on the market right now. That's right. Actually, we ended uh, 2009 with greater than 90% market share of e-readers. Uh, the Freescale semiconductors can be found in, in popular e-readers like uh, this one from Sony. This it, is one that they are selling here in, in Las Vegas for 199 or is it a different version, a smaller one? I don't remember the price offhand, yeah. but it's got the touch, touch uh, capability yeah. on it. Uh, the uh, Amazon uh, is another example. This is like the basically the most, most known e-reader right now, Very right? popular, very yeah. popular. The Kindle. Then we also have uh, new new ones like this is the uh, the IREX uh, 800, and this is one that will be wow. available at uh, uh, at Best Buy. You can see it's got an 8-inch e-ink screen on it, so it's got a, a larger screen than than most of the others. It's a beautiful, beautiful device, and it actually works. So it's it real. Does work. It's for it, real. It is real, and it does work. <laughs> and and uh, and this one has a pen as well, and you can use it. Uh, you yeah, it does have an inductive pen. So it has. Uh, Wacom technology. Uh, yes, I believe so. This is like, uh, I hope it's okay if I say it, but it's the most beautiful e-ink device I've ever seen. It's awesome. And you know the border is kind of the same, almost the same color as the paper, so it has a nice, a nice look to it. This is just like perfect. There's very little screen bezel, very little uh, space around the, it's a huge screen and it's a Wacom technology that means uh, that you can actually take notes. I don't know if you, there's something to do to take the notes, but maybe it works, maybe not. But let's see, you, know, you need to do something or somewhere in the menu. Yeah, I think and you then, have to set it up for that. Uh, somewhere it might say click to add notes. But anyways, the Wacom will permit like perfect note-taking, and it seems to be pretty fast. And RX is like, they're like totally uh, uh, leader in, in uh, getting the latest processors fastest and all the implementations and the fastest, best e-ink. Looks really cool. Yeah, it does look nice. I'm excited to see that product come to market. And then the other thing that we have, you know, we have many partners that do reference designs. So for people that want to get into the e-reader business, uh, they can buy reference designs. This is a, you know, engineering uh, sample right off the line uh, from a company called Netronix using a 9.7 inch uh, e-ink display. And again, you can see how thin it is. Um, but again, for people that want to get in the business, uh, there are several reference designs available from Freescale's partners. Uh, and we have uh, many, you know, we have a broad portfolio, not just the, uh, the applications processors, but power management, uh, audio codec, yeah. uh, and accelerometers. So uh, a pretty good lineup from, uh, from Freescale. And the reason that people like Freescale, uh, the lowest power consumption, the best performance for rendering pages and the lowest total system cost. So for those three reasons, uh, people have been selecting Freescale uh, solutions and we're re very pleased with that. We're happy to be working with such great companies. Cool, those, those three, three uh, reasons sound pretty cool. Uh, and uh, so, so is it gonna continue? Like the, the e-ink craze is, uh, is like uh, accelerating. There's more and more of these being well, shipped. The nice thing about the e-ink technology is it's bi-stable. So, for example, uh, you know, you look at a product like this. This image will stay on the screen um, forever, forever, basically, or yeah. rather indefinitely, without being refreshed. Yeah. So these these e-readers last for a long time, and the screen is highly reflective. So it's easy to read. It's easy on the eyes. Yeah. Uh, even in very bright light, it actually is is easy to read. So it's it's very popular for avid readers. Yeah. So it's actually, uh, it uses as much power as paper. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's that low power, but, uh, yeah. but it, certainly when it's not being used and it can maintain the image, it's uh, very low power. Um, so, so yeah, so we have a broader range of customers that are already using our devices and a broad range of uh, reference designs that are coming out to enable new people. Cool, awesome. Now we can all get to read again. <laughs> I need to spend more time reading too. That's yeah, because people, because of the internet and all that, they are staring at screens and they're just reading blogs and all that. Maybe it's nice to read some books. And thanks for enabling that. With My pleasure. Okay, thanks. thanks for